Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Sword Art Online Underworld 2 uh, episode number 3. Now, um, in the previous episode uh, it was quite sad like uh, Bercule died and um, and Vecta is uh, up to no good again and he's uh, probably going to log in with his original account from uh, I think GGO uh, most probably and Bercule and uh, the other guy I forgot his name uh, his teammate uh, again, they're, they're going to uh, get uh, in the game again, and I don't know what else they will do. Like, at least Alice is free from Victor now, and um, like uh, the thing is that uh, Bakuli's sacrifice almost went in vain. Like, uh, he uh, used his life to save Alice and um, kill Victor, but Victor will. Come back again. I mean, uh, uh, I forgot the guy's name, uh, original name. Uh, he'll come back again with a, a new account. Like, um, and I don't know if this will be more powerful than the previous account or not, but it's a problem. Uh, at least uh, Alice is uh, safe now. He, she can probably come back. And uh, that's the only good thing that happened in the previous episode. Uh, and uh, yeah, it was quite a shame because Berkeley was uh, one of the best characters in this series and uh, with him out of uh, the game it's like uh, a big part of uh, the strength uh, went down okay guys uh, without further ado uh, let's get started with sword art online uh, underworld 2 episode number 3 and the subtitles and the timer will be given here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's start the countdown okay um, I'll be counting down 3 2 uh, two, one, go. Okay, this is uh, Sinon. Yeah, they can fly. Yes, yeah, Sinon can fly. I forgot about that. Thank God, the uh, Alice is safe. <sighs> Damn. A tad bit too late. Yep. This is like a war of attrition, like what about Kirito? I don't think Alice will uh, agree because our people are here. Uh, it's not that easy. Yeah, they they remain alive. They're basically gods, like Well, he saved you at least, like...
yeah and um, mercury also yeah um i don't think so or will they be able to oh yeah okay yeah yeah because uh, the floodlights are still, still alive oh. i'm having a bad feeling like victor is going to come back like in that position from that position like uh Oh, right here. Okay, then that's God damn eyes. And he's gone. I hope they are able to um, bring these characters back because I don't know um, I really don't know like uh, God damn that was <laughs> This show is basically like uh, holding the position until Kirito wakes up God damn my eyes, something must be caught inside. Oh god. This is annoying. Okay. Okay, uh, now nah, Victor's going to come back in that. I think in that uh, avatar. One thing I don't get is that there are so many god-like creatures like Asuna, uh, Sinon. They're like a god, god characters. So why the hell is Vector such a threat? Like, they should be on par with each other. Oh my god, like, and the ALO people have also come in. Like, the balance in the power scale is ridiculous. Oh my god, uh... Damn, the animation. <laughs> oh god, like, these are all like real residents here. They won't get their life back. Okay. I don't 
Oh god, her sword is breaking. Yeah, when you're finally tired of fighting. Wait, her sword broke? Yeah. How is she going to fight now? Oh yeah, yeah, that's a good thing. That's a good line. <laughs> is, is it dying like Oh my god, people are coming. Oh god, this is bad. Oh my god. <laughs> They're long friends, like. Oh, yeah, they didn't meet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, oh my god. Uh, um. Oh god, I think he's back. He's back. Wait. Oh my god, yeah, he is. Oh god. God damn it, like. Wait a sec. Oh my, oh god, like, what? Wait a sec. Wait, did he come here as well? What? Oh, so, they, he also transferred his account or what? Oh my god, like, Oh no. This is bad. Like this is really bad. Like God damn it. Wow, amazing. This gets better, even better. Oh my god, like
Oh my god. Bunch of Million What? Just us in the game. Oh my so oh my god So they they're doing stuff like this now like pitting against each other Wait these are new characters or what Wow! Oh my god! Like, seriously! Ugh! Well? Wow, help us. Um, yeah, definitely. Like these guys, like the people who are doing this, like I mean uh, Vector and his friends. Okay. And here comes the Lord Almighty. God damn. Uh, the soul fetish returns again. <laughs> what? Wait, what the hell? Wait, is uh, Sinon's PTSD working up again? I mean, uh, the situation becomes more ridiculous now, like... <sighs> I'm I'm having a bad feeling about this guy like seriously Oh god Wait a sec. Wait, did he alert them? I'm having a bad feeling about this guy. He, he's like touching his... Moon face.
like Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Oh god, like... Wait, what? Oh my- oh yeah, her power! Okay, who is this? Oh, uh, Lisbeth. Damn. Wow, who is that guy? Sleeping nights are here as well. Oh, these guys are here as well. Oh god, like, are they okay? Like, uh, there was a warning like, uh, oh my god, a big penalty for dying or something. That guy, that guy's suspicious. Oh my god. Oh no, no. Well, I'm guessing like this is going to continue until the analyst Kirito wakes up like <sighs> just stressful like okay that's the end yep okay um I have a few things to talk about like um 
the situation has become so like uh, unfair and everything like uh, these guys are uh, like uh, i don't get it like how did this uh, sleeping uh, not sleeping uh, what was their name laughing coffin the laughing coffin members i think um, uh, the guy was waiting for an opportunity to um, uh, mess with the uh, what do you call them uh, cheeto and others so uh, they also transferred the elo account to uh, underworld and excuse me and uh, came inside the underworld to just like mess with them and um, uh, like uh, they're like uh, using ad advertisements to like uh, say like yeah uh, save us from the uh, what do you call them the hackers the J Japanese who are hacking our servers and uh, letting us uh, barring us from playing a game and stuff like this and as usual people get uh, what do you call it? Uh, fired up uh, at these things. Like uh, whenever something uh, regarding justice is happening, whichever it is, people don't just give a damn. They they just want to uh, jump on the bandwagon of uh, the say so-called justice without discerning whether the uh, what do you call it? Uh, the team they're uh, uh, they're supporting are really are really the people who are at the uh, what do you, who are the, are the victims. Like they don't, they don't just don't uh, like the excitement or uh, the thing about uh, doing something uh, good for the humankind and good for the people. This uh, false sense of justice like gives them an opportunity to like uh, shut out their mind and just do whatever the others are doing. Like this is extremely bad. This also helps in the real world as well. Like whenever something is happening, uh, uh, the so-called justice is. Um, at stake people just like without hearing both sides of the story they kind of like latch into uh, the the uh, the party which is able to convince them more like uh, this guy here uh, the uh, laughing coffin member like uh, the people were kind of skeptical they came inside and they were like what's happening here what and that guy it just took one little speech one little justice uh, filled speech to rile them up and uh, they started fighting without knowing whatever the hell is happening and whether they are right or they are in the wrong side they just started fighting patriotism and everything else like uh, these guys are good manipulators and uh, they know how to push people's buttons and uh, yeah uh, uh, like uh, if you see uh, some kind of thing like happening in the world where you're uh, pride and uh, uh, as uh, uh, what do you call it your pride as uh, people of that country uh, whenever your country is at stake or whatever that is happening whenever your pride as uh, uh, people living inside in, in that country is at stake you, you just stop thinking about anything this happens this happens everywhere each and every um, I mean uh, in all spheres of uh, happenings like uh, in the real world as well and uh, people should just calm down sit down and see both sides of the picture first then uh, uh, kind of uh, think about whether they're which side they're going to uh, go to whether they're doing correct or not whether they're doing the right thing or not and whether the justice that the one side of the party is speaking about is really justice or not and they should act accordingly now i know this uh, this kind of mob mentality is uh, like it happens everywhere and they took advantage of this thing here and kind of rile people up and um, yeah that's what happened and uh, the uh, two characters uh, the two new characters I think I don't know if they're new characters are they going to stay or they're just uh, solely for this arc like uh, the sleeping knights and uh, all the other characters they were like solely for one arc I don't know if that's the case here but um, I hope that they kind of uh, like uh, rational things about this and comes to a good conclusion and uh, like uh, help others understand that as well like uh, this is a hopeless situation here and um, like uh, I don't know if uh, uh, Asuna's team that is uh, the Wrath team uh, are unable to uh, employ the same methods as uh, vectors are doing uh, because they are not in the main console room uh, I, I think that's uh, that must be the uh, main problem here because uh, they are not in the main console room. They are unable to like uh, contact help from others, and also there was the.
thing with JSDF like they were saying that uh, calm down and uh, let some uh, time go so, so that the JSDF comes in and uh, the uh, vectors team were also kind of concerned uh, uh, and they were kind of hurrying about it so that JSDF doesn't come in so I don't know um, I think that is the must be the main problem here because they are like not with uh, with the main account uh, main console so they are unable to uh, do anything to help Kirito and the others and they are only able to like uh, send the ALO uh, players here and uh, we see a lot of ALO players getting killed like uh, I know there was a warning they gave a warning before that uh, we don't know what will happen if you die here or stuff like that I really hope they are fine like uh, uh, getting killed for this is just ridiculous like this is just like what do you call it uh, a, a game of unfair advantage towards uh, Kirito and the Kirito team because uh, the other team here they're using like uh, uh, pawns uh, like uh, they're, they're recruiting people from all over the world and they don't get a penalty they die they come go back to the real world and all the penalties are facing uh, are uh, the people here in this team in Kirito's team like uh, they don't know whether they will get their account back or not uh, they don't know what will happen to them if they sustain larger injuries or if they die they don't even know what will happen and uh, hopeless situation and um, yeah and um, another thing here is that um, they kind of recruited people from ALO to uh, come inside uh, uh, fight as Kirito's team and uh, there are Koreans and others, uh, Chinese and uh, uh, Americans, they are coming uh, uh, using guest, uh, what do you call them, guest accounts and they are uh, coming inside as uh, the enemy faction and uh, one thing I am uh, wondering is that, uh, is, uh, is ALO just like uh, for Japanese people, like there must be other people from other uh, countries like uh, uh, what do you call them uh, uh, Americans uh, Koreans Chinese there must be the, the these people in who play ALO as well so like um, like what is happening here like uh, aren't they able to like uh, these uh, people uh, aren't they able to uh, aren't the news uh, leaking out of these kind of uh, that uh, these kind of things are happening here and uh, these uh, this type of thing is uh, going on in the underworld and uh, like I, I'm I, I'm a bit confused here like uh, there must be other people from other countries playing a low as well or is this uh, like a uh, Japanese branch or something uh, I think that must must be it like they're like a Japanese branch and uh, the only uh, they were only able to yeah yeah that must be it yeah because uh, there are servers in different uh, uh, in a game uh, there are different types of servers like uh, Japanese servers and USA servers uh, U European servers so I think that must be it because uh, Klein and the all the others uh, Alson and the others must be from the Japanese server so uh, they must have uh, only uh, asked the Japanese people uh, uh, limited to that server to come and help them yeah that must that must be it so uh, the other people do not know what's happening what's the real situation that's going on inside underworld so and uh, Vector came back again and he's with Xenon and it's quite concerning because he has his history with Xenon like he kind of uh, crushed Xenon's neck and I think Xenon's getting uh, flashbacks of that uh, her PTSD is working up again uh, she already had a history with the death gun and stuff and with guns as well she kind of overcame came that and now here again with Vecta and uh, yeah it's a hopeless situation and uh, the other guy that was pointing a gun at Mm, that uh, glasses wearing guy I forgot his name and uh, I think uh, he uh, he was like uh, kind of uh, extremely um, what do you call it agitated and uh, like uh, his hand was shaking when uh, pointing the gun at him I think he must be doing it uh, uh, what do you call it uh, must be doing it forcefully uh, someone must be forcing him to do this or something like that or betray the others because uh, if he was uh, really a spy from the other uh, team uh, he wouldn't have uh, his hand wouldn't have shaked. Uh, he wouldn't be so ag agitated, so uh, 
so uh, what do you call it uh, scared and uh, pointing a gun at the teammate so I think uh, there must be something going on uh, behind the scenes here like he must be threatened blackmailed or something by them uh, so he's like unwillingly doing this or he might might be uh, no he can't be uh, uh, afraid of uh, killing others because he's a member of the army isn't it JSDF so he was like point uh, shooting guns so that must not be it. he must be blipping blackmail or something like that I think so if he was a really a spy from the other team I would have uh, hated him a lot but if he is being blackmailed and uh, then I can't say anything more because he must have has his own circumstances we'll see about that in the later episode we must uh, we uh, uh, will definitely will be able to get his side of the story as well so yeah that's for the next episode I guess and so yeah it's kind of like hopeless and I think this will probably continue for, for uh, almost uh, three, five or uh, three or four or five episodes more because uh, it's uh, currently episode number three so I think um, it will take uh, more five or six episodes like in episode nine or ten um, Kirito will probably wake up I don't know and, uh, and if Kirito wakes up I think everything's going to be okay so yeah so that's it guys and uh, thank you for watching and uh, if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button uh, subscribe if you haven't or you're new to the channel and comment down below your opinions anything about this uh, episode so yeah uh, I'll be back with a new sword art online video next week uh, until then goodbye and have a nice day